So the Egyptian wanted to preserve their dead people because they really wanted to preserve um, those they loved, including their pets and every object that they had when they were alive. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to need three volunteers who are not afraid to handle mummification. Come on up. And we're going to mummify a steak <laughs> for eternity. <laughs> All right, so how are you doing? Good. All right, so these are my apprentice embalmers, those who were the people who were mummifying the bodies. So the first step is going to be, so you're going to take the salt right there, and it's going to be pouring salt on the steak. So make sure you cover the steak with the salt really well. So every single part, <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks to embalm, right? So why do you think the salt is necessary? Yeah? It dehydrates, it, right? it dehydrates, absolutely. So the salt is actually going to suck up the moisture, and moisture is really bad because it decomposes very quickly the meat, it starts stinking, it's goo, it's gross. Right, with this, it's gonna actually make the meat very, very, very dry. All right, well done. Gosh, he's a great embalmer. He's been done doing that before, that's a little concerning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's good, excellent. Just making sure every single piece is covered. Well done, so you can uh, I think there's a paper towel over there. All right, so the second step, that will be for you. And the second step, now you have your dried piece of meat, or it's going to dry up. But the problem with dry meat is that it becomes very brittle. So you need something to cover the meat so that it keeps together, right? So the body doesn't fall apart and doesn't become brittle. And that envelope is actually a sticky envelope made of honey. So go ahead and use the honey. You can just actually just pour the honey over the salt. That's going to be you, fun. <laughs> Very nice. And so the honey has another property. Honey, if you've ever had a sore throat, what would your parents give you? Yeah? Tea. Yeah, tea with honey, right? So wh why do you think the tea makes you feel better with the honey? It's actually an antiseptic, so it kills germs. So the honey serves two purposes. It will kill the germs and um, it will preserve the brittle meat. All right, you've made my job really nice and gooey now. Very <laughs> well done. So when this, if this honey eventually dries up, this meat is going to be nice and preserved. Try not to replicate this at home, because I don't think your parents will like that. <laughs> Although maybe you can make a nice barbecue sauce afterwards. But <laughs> All right, so the next step is a step that I'm going to do myself, which is the most famous step. It's the mummy bandage. <laughs> Who has been dressed as a mummy at Halloween? Come on, with toilet paper. <laughs> Right, so the mummy, mummy bandage is where you wrap up the mummy into the famous bandages, right? So you wrap it up all around like so. Here, I'm just going to wrap it up by cutting it little by little. In fact, the ancient Egyptian would not wrap up the body by just turning it around and around and around. They would do exactly this. They would cut little pieces and put the wrapping very tightly around, uh, around the body. And what they would do is write little prayers on these wrappings so that the person would make it more easily into the afterlife so that any kind of blocks to the afterlife and especially to heaven uh, would be transgressed thanks to the prayers. And they would also put little amulets so that um, those amulets would also protect the body, which is, of course, something that the tomb robbers know, knew very well. That's why you never find uh, mummies with their wrapping, because the tomb robbers knew where to try to find the precious amulets. Right. So do you think that we are done now? We have our nice bandages. Are we done? No, no, we're not, because actually you could see just as I was doing that, the bandages kind of, they come off. So you need to also keep the bandages 
down and nicely coat it. And this is the job of our third embalmer, who's actually going to take sap, go ahead, and she's going to pour the sap over the bandages. Go right ahead. And the sap, yes. <laughs> wow, she's enthusiastic. Um, the sap, once the sap is actually nice and tight and uh, actually dry, is going to form a coat on the table as well, um, and will keep the bandages in place for eternity. Thank you very much. That was the best mummification ever done since ancient Egypt. <laughs> well done.